Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and welcome to episode one of Let's Play The Procession to Calvary, a brand new Let's Play. It's a brand new game uh, by Joe Richardson, released not long ago in April, on April the 9th, 2020. And it's a sequel to a game called Four Last Things, a game by Joe Richardson. I have not played Four Last Things, and I didn't even know it existed until this game came out, um, but that game looks excellent as well. The game uses Renaissance paintings and classical music, which um, seems very strange, which is one reason why I wanted to play it. Um, but it is very much a Python-esque adventure. Uh, before I continue, as it is the first in a new series, it really helps if you can go ahead and hit the like button there as it gets the video out to more people and gets the channel out to more people. And uh, if you are a fan of point-and-click adventure games, hit that subscribe button well as well and the bell um, because I make almost daily point-and-click videos. And um, if that's what you're here for, go ahead. And one final thanks before I click into the game. Um, thanks to Neon High for giving me a copy of the game to play. Um, you can get a copy of the game yourself from Steam, and there is a link right there in the description. So let's click on new game. I haven't loaded it up. I've, oh, well, that was pretty good. I think we're going to see more of that. I haven't played through this. This is a brand new blind playthrough. So let's click on new game and see where it takes us. <laughs> oh, well, it starts you mean to go on? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. What a start. <laughs> well, that's enough. I guess we've got no voices on it. Uh, okay. The Holy War is over. No way! Already? Yes. We won! Dang! Rejoice! Good has triumphed over evil. The North is finally free from the tyranny of Heavenly Peter. Does that mean I have to stop murdering people? Yes! We are now entering a time of peace. A time of spiritual freedom. I don't have the freedom to kill a few more people. No! No more murders. One more murder? <laughs> no more murders. Oh, <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> if you have a problem with the new regime, please take it up with our new leader, Immortal John. All hail, Immortal John. All hail, Immortal John. I guess I'd better find this Immortal John chap. Okay, instructions. Left click to interact with your surroundings. Right click to draw or resheath your sword. Middle click to highlight hotspots. Right, I don't have a middle click. Your inventory is located at the top of the screen. Click items to examine them. Drag and drop items to use them. Double click to run. Okay, so... Um, you got that? Boys, dead guy, field marshal, lieutenant general. Okay, this is fantastic already. So I guess that's look at. I guess that's kind of use or pick up, and I guess that's talk to. Let's have a look at a group of lads playing the Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sousa. Oh, informative. Oh, look at that guy there. <laughs> Death beheading the cadaver. Oh my word, I've no idea what I've let myself in for, let myself in for have I? Bravo. Talk to them. <laughs> Do I have anything in my inventory? Okay. Let's uh, look at. That's options. Oh, I don't see that options now. Talk to this chap again, Field Marshal. Hello. What do you want now? Where will I find him, Orphan John? He's about 20 paces to the right. It's not really that difficult. Okay. He's going to kill some more people. <laughs> no! 
If you have a problem with the new regime, please take it up with Immortal John. Oh, hey, Immortal John. Oh, hey, Immortal John. Right. When will I... <laughs> no more murders. Right. Okay, I'm off. Good luck. Thank you for service. And remember, no more murders. Alright, I need to give this guy a kind of voice. Maybe he's kind of like a, um, definitely a, uh, a Monty Python-esque voice. Let's have a look at this guy. Just death building a wee cadaver over there. No biggie. Pick you up. I think I'd better leave him to it. Talk to him, I think I'd better leave him to it. Alright, can I pick anything up? Oh, this is the is. oh hail mortal John. There he is. Let's talk to this mortal John chap. Excuse me. How can I help you? Right, are you our new leader? Can I do some more murders now, please? Did I recognise you from somewhere? Let's do this one. Are you our new leader? I'm just another person, a child of Mother Earth. The people have chosen to see me as their leader. They have given me a crown. My life is of no more value than any of my so-called subjects. I would happily renounce my title, but the people have chosen to follow me. And I believe there will I believe there will be more important than my own individual desire. How did you get the name Immortal John? Before the war, Heavenly Peter forced me to jump from the bell tower in a ritualistic murder ceremony called the Leap of Faith. It was a cruel tradition he used to absolve murder. He absolved himself of the responsibility of murders. One of many such techniques he used to keep us the people. Wow. Uh, in a state of terrified subservience, but I broke the chain by landing in a passing hay wain. I survived the fall with little more than a mild concussion and some vivid nightmares. Ooh, okay then. People mistook my serendipitous survival for a miracle and named me Immortal John! Fair enough. Can I do some money? <laughs> uh, absolutely not. Heavenly Peter's hateful reign is over. I intend to be a benevolent leader. I believe all men are equal and equally deserving of happiness. I believe in friendship and love. I believe we can all work together to build a fairer, more prosperous society. I do not believe in murder. Oh. Um, what did you say? Did I recognise you from somewhere? Quite possibly. I used to be a protagonist, just like you. I believed I was somehow special, somehow more important than everyone else. I thought that I had a personal mission in life, and that my desire to achieve my goals justified all manner of terrible deeds. Oh yeah, it's kind of like a Michael Palin voice. I think I'm going to go for there. You're the dude who murdered the Pie King, indeed. That is one of the many misdeeds I was driven to perform by my selfishness. Are you really awful? I highly doubt it, but I guess it's impossible to know for sure until it's too late. Um. Okay, so. I guess the ones that are highlighted, that are a little less highlighted, I've already said. And there's no more. What led you to adopt such ridiculous beliefs? I suffered as much as anyone else at the hands of Heavenly Peter. I led the people in the uprising against his murderous regime. We fought the soldiers of the south and drove Peter from and all his followers home. Men, women and children all came together to fight for a single cause. And we achieved something so great none of us had ever dared to dream it possible. That was when I realised the error of my old selfish ways. The power of people with a shared goal. Of teamwork. It was a revelation more powerful than any, than any I had been supplied by God. So we renounced his words and began looking to each other for guidance. Wait, so you never actually killed Heavenly Peter? No. Unfortunately, he fled back to the south before we got the chance. Surely it wouldn't be against your beliefs for, him, for me to murder him? Well, he did murder my family and attempt to murder me. And while he is one of the people, he's not one of my people. So I guess I could turn a blind eye. Yes! <laughs> you won't regret this, my lord. Mission accepted! I'm not, strictly speaking, asking you in an official 
Travel south. Killed Heavenly Peter. Got it! <laughs> I didn't actually... All hail Immortal John! <laughs> oh, this guy's brilliant. Oh, where's he going? Wait, wait, wait. Can you take me to the south? I can take you to a lugger. I can take you to a brig. I can take you to a full rigged pinnance. I can take you. I that could take you to the south. Splendid. Let us depart without further delay. I won't be going anywhere until I get my oars back. Right, so we actually have to do something. What happened to your oars? They were sequestered by the medics at the field hospital to make crutches and the like for the battle worn soldiers. If you have no oars, why are you still standing on your boat? True. I'm a boatman. I have to man the boat. That's literally my only job. And I ain't going to stop just because some punk stole my oars. Do you ever get seasick? Making me seasick, that is. I once got a explosive diarrhea from eating bucket cockles. I aimed it over the edge of the boat and the poop was about <laughs> while I drove. I travelled eight furlongs northeast before dawn. Oh my god. Does that count? No, I think that would count as food poisoning. Thanks for the nightmares. Oh, right, so we've got to go find some oil with some oars. Now these guys seem like lovely fellas, don't they? Nude men resting by the sea. Can we talk to those guys? <laughs> the guy playing a jello. Okay. Chalice playing Johann Sebastian back, suite number three in C major. Tell you what, I'm going to make a Spotify playlist of all of these songs afterwards. I'll share, I'll share it with you in the last episode. Bravo! Right, discarded clothing. Can I pick up discarded clothing? Already dressed immaculately. Okay, so I have to go south, but I have to get some oars. And they were being used as crutches in the hospital. Where the, this looks like it, what it is. Which is nice, there they are. This chap's got them. Let's talk to him. Hey! Yes, miss. Can I borrow your crutches? What do you need them for? I'm travelling south to kill Heavenly Peter. I need the crutches to power the dinghy. That will take me to the lugger. That will take me to the brig. That will take me to the full rig pinnace. That will take me to the south. Well, I do hate Heavenly Peter. I still have two whole legs if it wasn't for him. But as a strict follower of the doctrine of Immortal John, I believe my own wishes to be secondary to those of the people. So, I will have to ask them. Uh, okay. Hey guys, should I give this last my crutches so she can kill Heavenly Peter? Nope, I don't trust her. I abstain from voting. Too sad. Sad face. No way. That spoiled bitch already has socks and shoes. Why should she get crutches too? Sorry, the people have spoken. Well, I don't know about you people. Sad oafish knight with a rather fetching battle axe. There, there. <laughs> Everything will be okay. I appreciate the gesture, but I see no evidence to support your claim. Oh, are you okay? No. Why so glum, chum? I've been waiting here for six days and the queue hasn't moved. What injuries are you seeking care for? I'm having a moment of existential despair. Sad face. I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. About time too. Heavenly Peter is the source of all our woes. The list of his crimes is longer than that poor man's hair. Can you help me get to the south? I'm no help to anyone. Not with that attitude. That is all. So now I've convinced him. I guess I have to convince these guys, maybe. Hello? 
What do you want? What are you doing down there? Waiting to get looked at by the doctor. And what injuries are you seeking care for? My boots came off and now my tootsies are cold. <laughs> I think you need a cobbler or a cord wainer. Not a doctor. The doctor is the cobbler. He got promoted after the last jump, took a spear to the midriff. I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. Good for you. Heavenly Peter is the worst kind of villain. He raped my home and pillaged my wife. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh at that really, but it's funny. Can you help me get to the south? Do I look like a sailor to you? No, you look like a grumpy knight. I suggest you find a ship if you want to go south. Okay, bye. Bye. Uh, right, it was this, this one, wasn't it? I don't know whether I'm doing this right, whether I have to just talk to everyone. How can I help you? What's up? We are waiting in line for the field hospital. What injuries are you seeking care for? His hair has grown too long and keeps poking his peepers. Doesn't sound very serious. Suffering is relative to a man's experience of hardship. This poor chap has had an easy life thus far. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. Wonderful! Heavenly Peter is a scoundrel. He wants... <laughs> Farted on the pre ferment of my malt loaf, and the yeast became so active that it lifted the thatch off my kitchen. How do you come up with this stuff? Can you help me get to the south? I don't know anything about that sort of thing. Right, okay. Now, maybe if I talk to this chap again, now I've told them I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. Yes, miss. Right, can I borrow your watches now? No, let's see. Hey guys, should I give this last crutches so she can kill Heavenly Peter? Nope, I don't. Ah, oh, yeah, why not? No way. Right, okay. So he says yes. One out of three is not a consensus. Okay, let's talk to me about something else. Hey, yes, miss. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that coming. You hurt my face and my feelings. Oh, he's gone. My nose up. That was just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, dear. All right. uh, do you like sunflower? What's that? I don't know. I think it's like a herb or something. Don't have an opinion on that. Cool. Could you ask? <laughs> what happened to your legs? Whoa! Can you be more specific? got bit by a pine martin while carrying a thicket of azaleas. The wound went septic and they had to cut my leg off to stop the rot spreading to my tits. Right. Bye then. Goodbye, friend. Right. Guitarist. So I guess if I listen, if I look at him, it'll tell me what it is. Curiously perched guitar player performing Domenico Scarletti's Sonata in E minor. Beautiful. Right. Can I just go in? Oh dear. So I'm sure you can see from the queue at my entryway, I'm very busy. I have a hundred sick men in here and only two lubricated thumbs. Don't have time to chat. Alright, fair enough. You were the men. Bugger off. So, can I... Why do people do this? I don't like to kick or punch a man when he's down. How about these guys? I don't like to kick or punch a man when he's down. Um, I don't have anything here, do I? What? That all that was many, wasn't it? But what does that do? Um, can I talk to them again? Mm, it's going to say the same thing, isn't it? Never mind. Okay. So he says yes. They say no. Let's go back down here. See if there's a different way to go. So can I walk past them? That's having a good old naked tussle. Um, no, I don't think I can really do anything, can I, with that? 
Come on, let's go back here. Let's go back to the front of the first guy. Because I feel like there's a lot more to look around there. Okay, can I go this way? Oh, can I, can I go down? No, I don't know if I can die on this game. Let's find out. Boy, good world. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's one way to... You are dead. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you can die on this game. Okay, I'm clicking, I'm not doing anything. It's just, it's just waiting out the music. Don't do that again, Michael. Now, I haven't saved it, so I have to start again. It's just a lot of talking, isn't it? Right. And slowly, slowly. Is it going to start again, or is it going to... Why? Okay. I'm going to have to start again then, aren't I? Right, I think that we're going to call it quits on that episode today. What I'll do is I'll play up to that part that I was up to again. Um, so that the episode tomorrow will be from there. And this time, I won't jump off the cliff. So far, I have been in stitches. Well done, Joe Richardson. That's been hilarious. Um, go go buy this game right now. Support Joe Richardson and any future games that he may do. Um, if, you, Like I said at the start, um, a like would be very much appreciated because it gets the, the video out to, um, to more people. And you can come along and see me on social media as well. I'm very active there. Everything is Yak Wax Lips, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. And um, well, I'll leave it there. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is that you are doing. And take care.